Hello fellow superheroes, my name is Yensei and I teach Yogarate, which is yoga and karate. And today what I want to do is I want to show you how to be a superhero just like me. So one of the things that we do as superheroes is we show respect and we're kind to other people. So the way that we show respect in our Yogarate class is by bowing. So everybody take a big belly breath in, put your hands in your belly, breathe Breathe in, breathe out, everybody hands to your side, big belly breath in, big belly breath out, and everybody bow, looking forward and say, respect, awesome, high five, love it, okay, so heroes need to have strong bodies, strong brains, and strong spirits, so we're going to do things to help you get a stronger body first. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to play a little game. And this game is called the laser beam game. Now it's using our imagination. So this laser goes wah, 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 wah. And it's going to chop off your heads. <gasps> is it really going to chop off your heads? No, I'm just being silly. But I want to see what you do. Let's see what you do. Ready? Wah, 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 wah. All right, I saw some of my fellow heroes ducking. I saw some of my fellow heroes going like this. I saw one person going like that. And you know what? It's okay. Heroes are allowed to feel any way that they want. I know a lot of times we watch the superhero movies and the TV shows and they're always happy, but you know what? Sometimes superheroes get sad. Sometimes superheroes get scared. Sometimes superheroes get mad. And it's okay to feel any way that you want. I know sometimes I have people that tell me you shouldn't feel this way, you shouldn't feel that way, but I understand that maybe they feel a little bit sad or mad and they don't want me to feel that same way, but it's okay to feel any way that you want. All right, so let's see how you do with the laser. Nice job. All right, I have another laser, and this one goes, and this one's going to chop off your feet. Nice job. Whew, how many of you are a little bit tired, right? All right, everybody, big belly breath in. Try to make your belly as big as mine and breathe out. One more time. Big belly breath in. Make your belly super, super big. And breathe out. One more time. Big belly breath in. Beep, 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 beep. Oh! Oh, did I just wake up? Oh, I'm so sorry. I fell asleep. I sometimes I use up so much energy when I do my breathing, it helps me relax so much that I fall asleep. Alright? Did you think you're done with the laser beam game? You're not. Nice. All right, that was awesome. Give yourself a high five. Give yourself a round of applause and high five me. Awesome. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have super, super strong legs because if we ever have to save someone, if we ever have to run to the rescue, we want to make sure that our legs are super, super soft. What happens if, you know, we have to be superheroes and there's a kitty stuck in a tree? You know, we may have to climb up to that kitty or maybe jump to get them. So let's get our legs super, super strong. We're going to do something called birthday cake squats. Who here has a birthday? Say, me, sir. Awesome. So if your birthday is coming up or your birthday just passed, we're going to do some birthday cake squats for everybody. So I'm going to push out this big cake. Here's this big cake. Here's this big cake. Here's this big cake. Here's a cake. Now oh, I'm going to see everybody yell out. One of your favorite birthday cake flavors. Ready, set, go. Cookies and cream, chocolate chip, banana, prinkles, peanut butter for chicken fingers. Okay, awesome. So now I'm going to light all these candles. Some candles up top. Okay, now, we don't want to be uh, burned by the candles, okay? Unless you're a superhero that has super uh, firepower like Firestorm or like Johnny Storm. 
It's flame on from uh, the Fantastic Four. So if you're that person, it's okay. But if you're not, you have other superpowers, and I'm going to teach you how to create energy later. Then what we're going to do is just try to avoid the fire by blowing it out. Okay? So everybody grab onto a big cloud of air. And bring it into your belly, bring it into your lungs. And now what we're going to do is we're going to squat down. Hey, heels off the ground. You can't see because the camera's not big enough. But my heels are off the ground. I'm on my tippy toes. And then I'm just going to bend down like this. And I'm going to go all the way down here and blow out these candles. Everybody go. Good job. Now let's grab onto a big cloud of air. And bring it all the way in. And now let's get some of the candles in the middle. And we can squat down. If you want to blow out the candles all the way in the bottom, you can go all the way down. Blow out some of these candles. Good job. Now there's one candle all the way up top. It's the biggest candle. And I need all your help doing it. So how are we going to blow out this super big candle, superheroes? We're going to take the biggest breath in the world. And we're going to use our legs to jump. Okay, ready? Grab onto the big cloud of air. More. More. And everybody go down like this and jump. Good job. All the candles are out. Everybody grab onto some cake. I don't have any plates. I don't have any forks. I don't have any spoons. So just eat away with your hands. Um, nom, 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 nom. Um, nom, 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 um, nom, nom, I'm going to take some for later. Mm, like that. Put it in my pocket. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Everybody big belly breath in. Big belly breath out. Big belly breath in. Big belly breath out. How many of you sometimes get really, really excited? How many of you have a lot of energy? How many of you have been told by somebody to calm down or to take a breath or relax? I know it's kind of weird and it's okay. I know that I'm allowed to be any way that I want. Just want to scratch my head a little bit. It's a little itchy. Okay. But I want you to take some big belly breaths in. And I want you to learn how to breathe in deeper. So just in case it's time that we have to calm down, let's say it's nap time. If it's nap time and you know somebody else is trying to sleep, I don't want to be loud and interrupt them, but sometimes I get loud. So what I do is I do jellyfish breathing, okay? So there's three different parts of our body that we can take breaths from, okay? Everybody touch your belly. Say, hi, belly! Okay, good. Everyone touch your chest up here. Everyone go, oh, good. And then everybody lift up your arms and put your hands under your armpit. Dee, don't tickle yourself. Okay, dee, tickle yourself. Who's got your belly? And then go the other way and feel here. Now, those little bony things, those are our ribs, okay? And then inside the ribs, there's these muscles. Under the ribs are our lungs. And when we breathe in, everybody breathe in. When you breathe in, our lungs fill up, but then the muscles around the ribs also, they get a little tight. So when we do jellyfish breathing, we're gonna make all the muscles in our body nice and loose so we can breathe in deeper. So ready, everybody put your hands nice and loose like jelly. Okay, cool beans. Now, you're gonna stand like this and all I want you to do is breathe in with your belly and have your hands come up like this. Ready, watch. Just like that and breathe out. And it's like two seconds, you count to two, you go in my brain, and then I go, so I'm going one, two in my brain, and then I'm going one, two in my brain, okay? Next, we're going to count to four. Who can count to four with me? Say, me, sir. Awesome. So ready? We're going to count to four. We're going to go like this. So I'm counting in my head one, two, and then I'm going, and then I'm counting three, four, and then I go like this, four seconds, one, two, three, four, and I lift the air out of my chest, and I lift the air out of my stomach. I know it's a little confusing. It took me a long time to do this. That's why if you practice a lot, like superheroes don't just go to superhero school one day. They continue going, and they're learning and learning just like you're learning right now, just like I learned from some superheroes that I know. They're called yogis. They're people that do a lot of yoga, and they help people, okay? So, right, let's try it again. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe all the way out. Hi. I'm touching my dream catcher and go. <sighs> now we're gonna breathe in for six seconds. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Ready? Watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then you breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready, set, go. <sighs> ah. 
Some of you are able to breathe that much. Some of you are just learning how to do it. When you get your hands up here, and if you have any teachers in the room or adults or anyone, try this yourself and feel your whole upper rib cage expand, which also helps you catch deeper breaths. Okay, so let's do it together. Let's do jellyfish breathing. Ready? And... One more. And if you don't know why it's called jellyfish breathing, if you ever go onto um, YouTube Kids or you have somebody at home show you videos of jellyfish, or if you remember SpongeBob, he used to chase jellyfish, try to catch him in a net. I wouldn't do that because they would sting, but SpongeBob is a sponge. I don't think it hurts him if they sting him. Um, and then you can learn and all about different types of uh, jellyfish and man o' war, and they're beautiful things. Beautiful to look at, not so much to touch. Okay? All right. So, big belly breath in, big belly breath out. Okay, good. Let's do some silly stretching to get our body nice and loose, and then we're going to talk about some other stuff. Okay, everybody? Roll your head around. If your head falls off, I'll give you some glue. <gasps> Whose head fell off? All right. And where's the superhero named Glue Man? <gasps> glue Man, here you go. Give me some glue. <sighs> okay, Glue Man gave me some glue, and I'm going to shoot the glue over to you. Put it on your neck. <sighs> and take it and put it on your neck. Okay, awesome. Now my neck's not going to fall off. Let me check everywhere. Everybody go like this. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, 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 tick. Eh. Are you alarm clocks? Ah, I'm kidding. You probably are the alarm clocks. You don't know what alarm clock is, do you? I don't think so. Okay, ready? And everybody look up in the air. And we're going to show respect to the mama bird. We're going to pretend like we're a baby bird. And mama bird is going to give us some of our yummy baby food. So everybody go like this and go, um, um, um. Um, um, just like that. Num, 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 num. All right, cool. And then we're going to roll our shoulders forward and roll our shoulders back. Okay, and then we're going to go into the ocean. Let's go swim with Aquaman. And everybody look around. Aquaman, Aqua women, Aqua everyone. What kind of animals do you see? Oh, someone said seahorse. Everyone say hi, seahorse. Oh, someone said a sponge. Everyone say hi, SpongeBob. Oh, someone said a starfish. Everyone say hi, Patrick. <laughs> hi, SpongeBob. Oh. Hey, Patrick. <gasps> There's a shark. Everybody swim. Everybody swim. Everybody swim. And go backwards. Go backwards. Go backwards. Get out of the water. Oh, we got to swim in circles. Everybody, one arm forward. One arm backward. Try it. You can do this. All superheroes can do amazing things. Let's go the other way. One arm forward. One arm backward. One arm forward. One arm backward. Just like that. Awesome. And freeze. Big belly breath in, big belly breath out. Jellyfish breath in, jellyfish breath out. All right, if you love ice cream, say, I love you, ice cream. If you love pizza, say, I love you, pizza. Now, one of the most important things that every superhero does is they love themselves. Because if you love yourself, then you can show other people love. And love is the most important and the most powerful power of all. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some energy with our hands. And then we're going to give ourselves an energy hug and tell ourselves that we love ourselves. Because that's the most important power to have, the power of love. Ask Huey Lewis, okay? So ready? And everybody, rub your hands together. Rub your hands together. Rub your hands together. You feel the power? How many of you feel that heat you're making with your hands? How cool is that? Now all of a sudden, cup your hands like this. Adults, I want you to try this too. And now feel that. <gasps> How many of you feel that power? How many of you feel that energy between your hands? There you go, just like that. And now pull your hands apart even more. Pull your hands apart. Kids, if you feel this in your hands, keep it and play with the energy and move it around back and forth like that. If you don't feel it, let's do it again. Rub your hands together until you feel the heat between your hands. Now there's heat and fire. Cup your hands. Pull your hands apart just like that. Some of you may be feeling a pushing and a pulling sensation going back and forth. That's the power of the energy between your hands. Maybe like a, a positive and a positive side of a magnet repelling itself. Pull your hands apart even more. Pull your hands apart. I still feel that energy in between your hands. Now everybody give yourself a hug and everyone say, I love you, me. Nice and breathe in. And breathe out and everyone close your eyes and say, I love you, me. 
Love it. And everybody pull your hands apart again. Rub your hands together, rub your hands together. Pull your hands apart like this. Let's hug ourselves the other way. Adults, if you picture a certain age of yourself as a child and that pops into your head, give your inner child a high five. Give your inner child a hug. Everybody else, kids, give yourself a hug. Breathe in. And everyone say, I love you, me. Doesn't that feel so nice? One more time. Breathe in. Giving yourself a hug. Say, I love you, me. Yay. Okay, cool. All right, everybody make a rainbow this way. Everybody go, ha, ha, ha. What's so funny? Hmm, I don't know. Everybody go, he, he, he. Why are you laughing? Hmm, I don't know. Everybody go, hoo, hoo, hoo. What are you, a bunch of owls? Hmm, I, I don't give a hoot. Everybody go, ho, ho, ho. What are you, Santa Clauses? One of you owes me a train. I'm just kidding. All right, and ready? Put your hands on your hips. Let's do some sponge drops. Loosen up your lower back. Go the other way. Bring it around town. Bring it around town. Okay, cool. Now we're going to peck for some seeds like a bunch of chickens because remember how we did the birthday cake squats? Well, our legs need to be stretched so that they get super, super strong. So we're going to peck for some seeds like a bunch of chickens. And then we're going to reach for some bananas, like a bunch of monkeys. And adults, if you do this too, it'll loosen up your hamstrings or your glutissimus cardassianus maximus. And then what you'll do is you'll have lower back pain, get relieved. Everybody ready? Peck for some seeds. Go. Good job. Everybody peck and go. Peck, 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 peck. Awesome job. Let's pick some bananas like a bunch of monkeys and go pick, 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 and peck, 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 pick, 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 pick. Peck, 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 Ew. Are you picking your nose? Ew. I'm just kidding. I'm teasing. One very, very important thing that superheroes have is the love that they have for themselves. So the love that they have for themselves allows us superheroes to joke around about ourselves. Because there's villains out there, and there's people that are mean. And there's people that sometimes, if they see us being really happy, instead of asking us, why are you so happy? I want to be happy like you. Then they try to make us feel mad or sad because they feel mad or sad. If I see someone that's mad or sad, I ask them, are you having a bad day? Is everything okay? Is there anything I can do for you? And I try to change them from being upset to being happy. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Does that make sense? Okay, so ready? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some balancing because balance is very, very important in life. You know how to balance a bicycle, some of you. Some of you know how to stand and just balance like this. It's very important to balance life like, uh, you know what helps balance? Water. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Most of our body is made out of water. So if you're drinking a lot of water, your body's going to be stronger, your body's going to be faster, your brain is going to have a lot of water so it can be smarter. If you forget to drink a lot of water, it's okay. Just try to drink more and more and more and more. And yes, you're going to go to the potty like five times a day. Adult, same exact thing. But what would you rather have? A stronger body that works optimally and takes care of you and keeps you healthy or having to go potty five times a day? It's really up to, and you know, it's all right. All right, no big deal. Ready, everybody? Lift up your knee. Let's balance for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going if you can. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Let's balance the other way. Balance. Uh, drinking a lot of water. Balance. Uh, eating a lot of fruits and vegetables. Balance. Sometimes we eat things that aren't good for our body. Sometimes we go to McDonald's. And, and we eat the, the, the burgers that aren't good for us, or we eat the french fries, or the soda that's not good for us. But you know what? If you have it once in a while, and then you have a lot more good food in your body, then that's balance, and it's okay, if that makes sense. All right, ready? Other side. Drumming. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I fell over. Oh, no. Is that bad? No, that's awesome. Why? Because I just made a mistake. Superheroes know that making a mistake is just part of life and part of things that we do. So when I make a mistake, I went, oh, I just made a mistake. 
That's so cool. And what do I do is I go like this and I kiss my brain. I say, thank you, brain. I go, thank you, brain, for learning from that mistake that I just made. So now let's see if my brain learned it. Let's try again if you want for 10 seconds. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's so cool. Awesome. High five me. If you got better balance and you made some mistakes, give me a high five. If you want to learn a lot of things in life, then make as many mistakes as you can, if that makes sense, okay? Some people think making mistakes is bad, but it's okay. They were taught that making mistakes is bad. Superheroes know that making mistakes is good so that we learn from it, okay? All right, awesome. So what I want to do is I want to teach you a word, and this word is a word that's so powerful that if somebody tries to be mean to you or somebody says a word to you and you get upset, mm, you don't have to get upset. What you can do is take a big belly breath in and say the super word it's called. Ready? I don't want to whisper. Ready? And. And. Everyone say and. Okay, right, okay, good, all right. Or you can tell other people about it, you can be a superhero. So when I say the word and, let's say some, I'm, in the, I'm walking in the supermarket and somebody comes up to me and I got a belly, and I love my belly because I love to eat really good food. Um, so all of a sudden somebody comes up to me and goes, you're fat, you have a big belly. If I go, no I don't, or if I get upset, then they win. I, do I want the villain to win? No, I'm a superhero. I want to win. I need to go and help other people. So what do I do? I say the word and. And then it's like a shield. Like you know how Captain America and Wonder Woman have a shield? It's an and shield and it bounces off. So somebody says, you're ugly. And then you go like this. You go and. And then it bounces back onto them. And then they go, your feet stink. And you go, and, and then all of a sudden it bounces back onto them. And now they're like, oh, I gotta figure out, I'm trying to get you upset, but it's not working. Okay, then they say, uh, your breath smells like Doritos. And then you go, and, and then it goes right back to them. And then the villain's like, oh, I lost. And then they're just, I can't do anything. I don't understand what's going on. Why isn't this working? This is incredible, like that. And you're just standing there as a superhero. And, everybody go, and, I love it. All how to make yourself a superhero by using your brain, okay? All right, now, I wanna teach you how to be a superhero by doing some karate moves so that just in case uh, a villain throws a car at you, or just in case you're outside, it's really windy and you see a branch flying towards you. We don't want to let the brand and hit us in our nose, right? We don't want that to happen. So what we want to do is we put our hands up and we protect ourselves. And superheroes also protect others that can't protect themselves. So like if you have a friend and that friend is getting teased by somebody and that person is not being nice to them or being mean to them, do you let your friend just get you know made fun of or do you do something and you stop it you can stop it by telling a teacher you can stop it by teaching your friend the word and you can stop it by telling the other child the other person hey stop leave him alone say the word no say it really loud right everyone go no that's also very important because superhero also protects themselves, okay? So if someone's near you, let's say they're trying to tickle you or do something like that, that's where we're gonna do the karate move so that you can keep them away from your body and then everybody's happy, okay? So the first move I'm gonna teach you is called the high block. The story of the high block, how I kind of learned it, was I was sitting underneath a tree reading a book and then all of a sudden uh, something hit me on my head and I looked up and it was a squirrel. And the squirrel was just eating the nuts. And I'm just like, Mr. Squirrel, uh, can you please be careful? And like, don't do that. And the squirrel, I guess, didn't speak English or whatever. All of a sudden, psh, two more nuts hit me on my head. And I went, wait a second. I don't think he's paying attention. And all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, stop. And I put my hands like this. And when I put my hands like this, what happened was the nuts started landing on my arm instead of landing on my head. Right. So this is called a block. When you stop, like, have you ever seen something called volleyball? 
where they throw a ball over the net when they put their hands up like that. They block Captain America, Wonder Woman, they use their shield. When you use your and shield, you're doing a block. You're blocking somebody's words. Okay, let's say you're playing basketball and somebody tries to throw the ball into the hoop. If you hit the ball without it going into the hoop, then you just block them. Okay, so everyone say block, like Roblox. Roblox, that's something different. Okay, everybody hands like this. Awesome. Now, first we're going to do, I'm just going to fix my hair. So, you know, we wear costumes, we wear wigs, superheroes. Some wear capes, some don't. I learned in The Incredibles that it's not good to wear a cape, just throwing it out there. Um, so, the high block song goes to Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Ready, set, go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the squirrel, so high, like a pepperoni pizza pie. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder. Dude, where's my car? Where's my car, dude? Okay, I'm just teasing. That's the way that I make sure that you're paying attention. Okay, hands up like this. Good job. Do I want your elbows out like... Uh, chickens, or do I want your elbows in like kangaroos? Nice. Do I want your knees straight, or do I want your knees bent? Awesome. Okay, ready stance, and we're going to do the high block song. It goes to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. We're going to do it three times. Ready, set, go. High block, high block to the sky. High block, high block, way up high. Aya! That was such a good eye up. All right, let's switch feet. Put one foot back. Bend your knees. Hands up like this. Ready, set, go. High block, high block to the sky. High block, high block, way up high. Aya! Awesome. One more time. This time as loud as you can. Ready, set, go. High block, high block to the sky. I block, I block, we up Okay, awesome. All right, so now, how do I know the high block's going to work? Because you're going to get to practice it. So these are the sun balls. So when I travel to different universes, I travel all over, I went to the sun, I picked up sun balls. Now, these are very hot. The reason why I can hold them, see how red my hand is? Okay, because I do something called Reiki. Everyone say Reiki. Reiki is energy work. There's people that do Reiki that heal other people. Those are superheroes just like I am, just like you are. So these are sun balls. They don't burn my hands, but they might burn you. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you do your high block. Now everybody, take your hand and cover it up with some superhero coating. Put on some superhero gloves. Like that. Maybe Thanos' glove. And let's take the other one. Maybe some more Infinity Stones. Like that. Everybody go. Okay. You did two snaps, so it nulled each other out. Okay, cool. Everyone's still here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw these at you. And what I want you to do is I want you to... Do a high block, okay? We'll do a duck. Oh, we don't need to do a duck. You already learned how to do a duck. The birthday cake squats get you so strong that if someone's flying towards your head, you can duck really fast. But I want you to do a high block. Ready, set, go. Good job, go. Good job, go. Good. Let me hear you go. Aya. Let me hear you go. Aya. Ready, go. Aya. Go. Aya. Okay, good. Ready, two blocks. Go like this and go. Aya. All right, awesome. I'm going to teach you another one. Something flying toward your head, you do a high block. Something flying towards your belly, you're going to do something called the middle block, okay? And the middle block goes like this. Everybody into the ready stance. You take your fingers and you put them together, whoosh, just like that. Do I want your fingers open or do I want your fingers closed, okay? You're going to put your hands just like this and you do a middle block. And when you do a middle block, you're blocking the middle line. You're blocking the middle part of your body. Okay, ready, set, go. Swat, swat, swat. Oh, I didn't even tell you what you're doing. So how many of you like picnics? Oh, I love picnics. What do you eat at picnics? Right, eat chicken, eat burgers, eat sandwiches. Okay, so I'm going to have this big picnic basket, just like this. I'm going to open it up, okay? And here are some, there you go, some sandwiches for you, some sandwiches for you. Here's some sandwiches for you. Okay, good, I'm going to eat some. What do you have as a sandwich? 
Mmm, okay. Mmm. Ham, cheese, pickle, and mustard. Mmm, it's like a Cuban kind of thing. Mmm, so good. What do you think that is? It's not a bee. It's a fly. These flies. I don't want the fly to get on my sandwich. Put your sandwich away. Get your hands in a race hands. We're going to swap the flies away so that all the sleeve, we don't want the flies to land on our sandwich. Ready? Set. Go. Swat. 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 Keep your fingers closed. Middle block. Fingers closed. Swat. 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 Middle block. Aya! Let's do it again. Ready? Set. Go. Swat. 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 Middle block. Swat. 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 Middle block. Aya! Nice. Okay, now hands are up. Same thing. Now I'm going to throw these at your belly and I want you to be a superhero. Pa, 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 pa. And you're going to block them just like that. All right? Everybody, first of all, big belly breath in. Big belly breath out. Big belly breath in. Big belly breath out. One jellyfish breath. And one jellyfish breath out. Awesome. All right, ready stands. Just like this. Here we go. Middle block. Block your belly. Go. Aya. Aya. Keep going. Where'd it go? Okay. Oh, these are the core balls. I went to the center of the earth where the tree of life is. And I went through the core, the magma. Ever go magma? And that's the lava. And I plucked out these core balls. They're a little smaller, they're a little bit hotter. Actually, no, I think the sun's hotter. I'm pretty sure the sun balls are hotter. Okay, you ready? Let me see you go. Aya. Hold on to Aya. All right, cool. You know what? I think you are now graduating and finishing superhero school so that you are more powerful. So now I have to give you the super test. Everybody take a big belly breath. Nice. Everybody take a jellyfish breath. Nice. Ready, stance. Aya. Now what you're going to do? If this is coming towards your head, if I throw it up, do a high block. If I throw it to the middle, let's see how this goes. Ready? If I go like this, to the middle, do a middle block. And you're going to go, aya, 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 just like that. All right? Everybody ready, stance. Go. Aya. Oh, that didn't work. Ready? Go, aya, 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 aya. That didn't work. Just tease you. Big out. There you go. Everyone go like that. Good job. Awesome. All right. Yeah. You did a great job. That was so good. Give yourselves a round of applause. I love it. Okay. Let me grab onto a quick sip of water if you have one. If not, take a take a, a big sip of water. I want to see who's participating today. Hi. Hey, over there. How's everyone doing? You're doing so Give me some high fives. 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 That's awesome. Okay. Now, what I want to let you know is that we do a lot of breathing, but it's also important that we release our energy. A lot of people tell us, you know, breathe a lot, calm down, take a breath. Sometimes people don't tell us that there's certain times to release our energy, okay? Because sometimes some of us, when we're superheroes, have so much energy inside us that we have to let it go. Some of us, you know, we just have all this energy and we want to look at things and touch things and this and that. And sometimes, you know, there's people that don't have as much energy as we do and they want us to slow down and that's hard to do. So what we do is we release our energy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do something called uh, uh, dynamic tension. Everybody breathe in, breathe out, just like that. And I want you to take your hands and squeeze your hands like this. And squeeze your arms. And squeeze your whole entire body. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. <sighs> Relax. Woo! That's tiring. Let's do it again. This time off your heels. And bend your knees like you were about to jump. And we're going to squeeze our whole entire body while we're breathing. So ready, set, go. <sighs> Squeezing your body, squeezing your muscles, squeezing your legs, pushing your legs down, squeeze, squeeze, breathe, squeeze, squeeze, and relax. Just like that. Okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to yell. We're going to use our superpowers and we're going to yell as loud as possible. Okay? So ready? Adults, if you don't want to hear this, 
Take your fingers, don't put them in your ears, put them in that little soft part and press down because it's about to get super loud. Okay, ready? Who here thinks they can be loud? Say, me, sir. All right, who here thinks they have a super powerful voice? Say, me, sir. Okay, ready? Everybody, when I say go, I want you to scream as loud as you can for 10 seconds, okay? Adults, you ready? Here we go. I'm going to count backwards like this, and when you see me go like this, then stop. Ready? We're going to express ourselves and get our energy out. Breathe in, and go. I think you can go louder too. Okay, ready? Everybody, big belly breath in, big belly breath out, big belly breath in. And here, sometimes it's good if you want to do this, but let's say you don't want to wake somebody up. What I sometimes do is I'll have a pillow like this, and then if I want to scream and get my energy out and I don't want to wake somebody up, I'll go like this. <gasps> Did it sound as loud as before? It didn't, right? So I want you to try that. That way you can get your energy out because I love to scream. Some of us love to scream and some people just don't like people screaming. And I totally get it. I have a doggy named Scruffy. He doesn't like me screaming. So that's why I'll do that. Okay, ready? Everybody, 10 seconds. We're going to scream as loud as possible. Ready? Everybody, big belly breath in. Breathe out. Jellyfish breath in. Go. Now, another way to build up energy in your body is do something called humming. Okay, so we're going to make the letter A, and it's going to sound like this. Uh, we're going to do it for 10 seconds, and after we do it, I want you to feel in your body the energy flowing through your body. That's how you build up energy and build up vibrations in your body, okay? 10 seconds, the letter A, A. Okay, ready? Go. Uh, nice. Next letter, the letter M. M. Breathe in. through my body so cool let's do an o sound breathe in as loud as you can oh just like that some superheroes they can use their energy to make sounds. When you get older, you're going to hear people that have amazing voices and their energy and their voices make sounds and they help heal the whole entire world. So everybody has their own gifts. Everybody has their own superpowers. And it's your job to discover what your gifts are. If you already know, if you're a kid that loves talking about um, construction vehicles, I have one kid in my class, his name is Alexander, and he loves talking about construction vehicles, and he taught me about rollers and excavators and dump trucks and three other ones I have no idea I forgot about because he's smarter than me. So if you love talking about something, then let your parents know this is your favorite thing to talk about. Let your teachers know so that hopefully they'll let you talk about that so that you can express yourself and you can be heard and you can be seen because you can wear costumes, you can dress up, you can do whatever you want, but the most important thing is to make sure that people understand what you want and what you want to help other people with. Because that's the most important thing of being a hero. When I talk to my big friends, my adult friends, I tell them to take a breath. Because some of my friends aren't happy. Some of my friends do things and they're not happy like working at the jobs that they have. Because, I don't know, they're just not happy. So what I tell them, I tell them to close their eyes to take a breath and to think about who are some people that I can help. 
And if you think about those people that you can help, and you start helping them, then you become the most amazing superhero. All right, I'm gonna teach you one more superhero thing. It's called cold breathing. Cold breathing is when you take your tongue, you put it behind the back of your bottom teeth. Everybody go like this, take your tongue, and put it right here behind the back of your teeth. Okay, good job. Now, ready? Everybody repeat after me. I want to make sure before we do the cold breathing that your tongue is in the right position. So this is called the Princess Bride Test for the adults. Okay? Ready? Everybody say, love, true love, is a magical experience. Okay, everyone say, Princess Buttercup. You said it perfectly. Okay, so now you said all that means your tongue is behind the back of your bottom teeth. Ready? Everybody breathe in and then breathe out. Now take your tongue, put it behind the back of your bottom teeth. Pretend like you're breathing in through a straw and breathe out. One more time and breathe out. And you feel that cold air coming over your body. So whenever a superhero gets mad, whenever a, a, a bad guy says something mean, you can get upset, but then you're not a hero. You're, you're helping that person you know, feel better or feel good. So instead, we take a breath, belly breath, we take a breath, jellyfish breath, we take a breath, cold breath. And then we say the word and, and then we say, can I help you in any way? Can I help you feel better? And that's what being a superhero is all about. I hope everybody had a great time. I hope that you enjoyed my yoga latte. Everybody breathe in. Say namaste. Aya! High five. High five. High five. High five. High five. You're awesome. I'll see you soon.